Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will create a coffee poster design in GIMP. Let's start! Alright, first create a new file by going to File, New and I set to this plain Ever, then hit OK. Then bring up our wood texture by going to File, Open this layer and choose this. Scale it down by pressing Shift S, then hold Ctrl Shift while scaling, around this and place it on here and press enter this time we're going to create a perspective with perspective tool go to this icon and change it to the perspective and just click okay move it down to here just make it like become a floor around this create a gradient background for the walls so create new layer and emit BG. Then change the white color to something calculate. This, just hit OK. And then with gradient tool, click this. Or the shortcut is G. Then change the shape to radial. Then change this to foreground to background. You see it's the same color. In the middle, just drag it around this and press enter move it below the dark table let's bring up our ornament texture by going to file open this layer just this shift s to scale it up and hold ctrl shift while scaling around this and press enter now make it become some dark chocolate color you can play with the layer mode so change the layer mode to dodge make the ornament more contrast by going to color curves and just make it up run this and hit ok hide some of these wooden floor parts with layer mesh so right click add layer mesh choose this white flow opacity then hit add then make sure you change color to default and just the black with brush tool just brush it next let's bring up the coffee by going to fall open and I choose this as you can see it's already in selection so just bring up the result to here place it on here bring the layer to the top just drag it and scale it down by pressing shift s hold ctrl shift while scaling around this then just move it down to here and press enter add the shadow so create new layer and emit shadows with brush tool again and with the black color you can change the size and reduce the hardness just brush it add more element to here the coffee bin by going to file open this layer and just this this hit comfort and press shift s to scale Hold Ctrl Shift while scaling, place it around this. Make it darker by going to color and just curves. And just slightly turn down around this. We're going to create the drop shadow with the drop shadow filter. Because the shape is more advanced than this, so go to filter. Like in shadow, just the drop shadows. You can unlink this to place the shadow as you want and increase the opacity and blur radius you can turn it down alright this one then hit ok add more by going to file open this layer and adjust this sack of coffee bean right then place it on here get it up by pressing shift s and hold Ctrl Shift while scaling. Press Enter, then 
Make it flip horizontally by pressing Shift F. Make sure you choose the horizontal, then click. Now we're going to create uh, this coffee bean same color as this. You know it's really important thing when you do some of photo manipulation, the tone color must match with the entire all images. You can see my previous video how to basic photo manipulation the color matching. Or this time we're going to use the fastest method with your own eyes feelings. Alright, so go to color, hue and saturation. You can adjust the hue. I think it's more purple in here. So just turn it down. And the lightness. And you can turn on the saturation. Just make it as close as possible. After that, hit OK. And make this darker by going to color, curves, turn it down, and hit OK. Do the same at the drop shadow by going to filter, like in shadow, drop shadow. Now for the text, press T and type, change the color to white and change the font to scale it up and make it share with the share tool, click this and make it share or the shortcut is shift H. Then just drag it to the top around this and press enter. Now we're going to add some gold gradient to the text by going to right click, all part to selection, and with gradient tool, change display color to something of this cream color, and this white to this yellow color, and change the shape to linear, then just drag it like this, and press enter. Don't forget to deselect it by going to select and choose none. Scale it up a little on this. Give some drop shadow by going to filter, like and shadow, choose the drop shadow. Can play with the settings. And hit OK. Do the same and add more text. At the flare effect, we're going to fall, open this layer and choose this. Just click convert. Then scale it down by pressing Shift S. Hold Control Shift while scaling. Put it on here. And let's change the layer mode to the screen. Now you see it's no black background. Scale it down by hitting Shift S and just make it pins like this with no pressing button on the keyboard. And rotate it by hitting Shift R. On this and press enter. Do you remember what must we add if we make the glow effect? Right, the overlay. So create a new layer below the flare and name it overlay with brush tool. Make something yellowish color around this and hit OK. Then just brush below the flare. Engine layer mode to 
overlay so you can see all slightly different good now the last thing we're going to create a particle so go to file open this layer and I choose this so as you can see it in one part make it separated with the float so select it one by one with rectangle tool like this and on this layer go to select and choose float see it's create a floating selection then click this create new layer and it's not in this part anymore so just do the same and I just delete the rest of it make it darker with curves go to color just curves around this and add the linear motion blur by going to filter blur just the linear motion blur so you see it's like the speed evac can adjust it on this then hit ok adjust the curves and do the same Don't forget to add the smoke effect by going to file, open this layer and just this, scale it up, you can turn on the opacity, not too much around this. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new how to create food and beverage poster design in game. I'm ZK from ZK Design. Create something good today. Thanks for watching.